and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video I'm going to be doing a what I pack in my children's carry-on luggage when we go on a flight video. That is a little bit of a mouthful but basically I'm just going to show you what I have packed for my two little girls who are seven and five when we go on our upcoming long-haul flight in a couple of days. So we are actually off to New York on holiday in a couple of days time. I am so excited. I literally cannot wait and I have packed my girls two separate plane bags we've always done that I don't tend to pack one for my son who is two just because he isn't really interested in doing anything other than causing trouble and eating food basically so I tend to just pack him things he'll watch the iPad a little bit I'm hoping he's going to watch it a little bit more this time but I tend to just pack him stuff within my bag I'm actually going to do a what's in my travel bag for me video which will probably come up after this one at some point but today I thought I would show you what is in my girls little suitcases we have a little bit of a thing now we call them plain bags not very original and we just really I just get it sounds really silly, but it's something I really love doing for them. So a lot of the things that are in their bags, they'll obviously know about already and they'll be using at home. But I also like to pack a few like new little surprises in there. And I tend to hoard them away. I'll see something like on offer or in the supermarket. I've even got my mum on the case now because she's like a little bit of an eBay queen. She can find the most random stuff on eBay that I would never even have dreamt of searching for. So I get her on the case as well and then I give her the money for them. And I just like to find little random things, store them away and then give them to them in these plain bags and it's just something that I really enjoy doing for them and we've kind of got into the habit where they're not allowed to even slightly peek in their plain bags, they obviously push them around the airport but they're not allowed to look in them until we're up in the air and the seatbelt signs have been turned off and it's just a little treat that I really love doing for them. I don't tend to spend a lot of money on them on Christmas and birthdays and I just love to do it for them so I will show you what I have packed for them now. These are the bags we were using for them. We used to use pink lining ones, we had them for years and I really loved them but they're getting a little bit tatty now and I actually went on the other day to see if I could buy some new ones but I don't think that they do luggage anymore but these seem really good. We've had these about a year but just haven't used them on a plane yet. These are from my first years and they seem quite sturdy. They've got, you know, your usual handle for pulling stuff. Um, but what I really like about these is that with the pink lining ones, you could only get it up to child height, which meant if myself or my husband were kind of tugging them along, it meant that we were sort of arching down and getting a bad back. But these actually adjust to adult height as well. So I do really like those. So we'll see how we get on with them. But I will show you what I have got inside them. So I pretty much put the same things in both bags, but I'll show you what's in each bag anyway. What I tend to do is just find things that I know that my kids will just enjoy and will keep them occupied and will keep them entertained. So they might be a little bit random, but they're just things that I know that will kind of keep them entertained on the flight there and the flight back. So this is Lottie, my five-year-old's bag and I have got her a little book on space or big book. It's probably a little bit big for a plane but she's become really obsessed with space recently and I just thought that this would be quite a nice book for her to read on the plane. And then I have just got her lots of random different little things. These crayons are from Smiggle. She has actually had these before but what I really like about these is that they obviously come in this quite sort of handy case and there's also a pencil sharpener at the top so I think that they will be really good for her for the plane. My mum actually got these for them but I thought that they were quite good. I don't tend to let them have sweets like this usually but because we're on holiday I thought they would be good and I thought that they would last quite a long time and then this is from Smiggle. This is just a little like exercise notebook. It comes with some rubbers, one of those like cool pens that I used to have as a kid that did all the different colours. And yeah, I thought that was really good. Smiggle's quite expensive, but then they often do like really good deals if you buy things like all sorts of different things. So um, I always kind of try and wait for the sort of deals if I'm walking past and see that. So I got her that. And then this is just from eBay. I think these are brilliant for planes. I think it was like 20p or something like that. And it's just a football colouring and fun book. And I know she'll have a great time colouring those in. Both my girls are obsessed with football. 
So, yeah, I think, well, Maddie's obsessed with football and I think Lottie just copies Maddie. But I thought this was really good and would keep her sort of entertained on the plane. And then similarly, I got this from The Works. So £3, which is really good value. And again, they've actually had one of these before, but I don't think they're going to remember it particularly. But I just thought that this was brilliant and it kept Maddie entertained so much the last time she had one. So it's just all sorts of different activities to do. It's really colourful. It's really lovely. And I just think that will keep them entertained for a really, really long time. So every activity is different. And I think that's like a bargain for three pounds. So that is really, really good. Likewise, again, from the works, which was £2.50, I got Lottie this Paw Patrol counting thing, and it's just like an exercise book, like a maths book. I'm a little bit of a geek, and I just love that if we're going on holiday, they also do educational stuff as well, and it's fun educational stuff though, isn't it? It's not like, you know, I'm sitting there making them do all their homework constantly. But yeah, I thought that she would really like that because she loves Paw Patrol and it's kind of perfect for her age. And then lastly, in this like little section, I got them some slime or actually my mum got this for them. I don't know about anybody else's children, but mine are obsessed with slime and I know that this will keep her like really occupied on the flight. We've had slime on a flight before and they just sit and they just play with it constantly. So I know that she will play with that for a really long time. And then in this little zip up section, I'm now not going to be able to get it open, there we go, I'm trying to do it one handed. We've got all sorts of random things as well. So we've got them both an iPad, I have mentioned this on a video before, but these are actually my iPads. When I used to work in my previous job, I used to get an iPad as a Christmas present, so I got two iPads from two different Christmases, which is really nice. They're really old now, I think one's about nine years old and one is about eight years old. So they're pretty slow, but we still call them our iPads, like my iPads, because it means that we can get them off them. The only thing is we recently invested in these cases. I had seen these like loads of different places and thought that they looked really good. And then we had an unfortunate incident where, I don't know if you can see that on the camera, basically Ren, my little boy, smashed this one. So we decided to get these cases for them. I think they were like $7.99 or something off eBay. They were a really good value and they're quite protective and they're quite good for kids. So even though I class these as mine, I do put them in their plane bags because it just means I don't have to carry them in mine basically. And then we, we also upload them with lots of different um, apps and movies and things let me know if you would like to see a traveling with kids kind of tips video because I've got quite a lot of tips on different things and like what apps I use and stuff then we have got their headphones I think we got these for something like nine pounds maybe off Amazon about four or five years ago and they're still going like really really strong so they are brilliant um, and perfect for them on the plane and then I've just got like loads of random bits and bobs. Like I think I picked this up for like 99p in the works. And it's just one of those bag things that they can open up and they can get a surprise. And they just love like things like that. It just really entertains them. Similarly with these, I think these are like super zings they love. I think again they're like 80p or 90p or something in Tesco. So I got them one of those or two of those even. And then I got them this like little like mini Rubik's Cube key ring which was a pound from the works. And then I thought these were really nice. These are from Smiggle again. And again, they're just really handy because they're in a case. They don't take up too much room. And again, I thought that would be great for all the like activity books they've got. And then finally, just a random thing that I saw in Halfords when I was in there for something and thought I would pick it up. This is just a torch that like lights up and does different colours. So I thought that Lottie would find that quite entertaining. And that is Lottie's bag. And then here we have Maddie's. So it probably won't take as long because it's really similar. But again, they have got, well, Maddie has got the broken iPad. Then Maddie has got like a book. I don't actually know whether to maybe pack another book for her because she reads so much. She loves the David Williams books and she's kind of halfway through this one. So I have packed that one for her. 
This is a really random thing my mum found off eBay. I think it was like 99p or something. And once you pull that kind of thing out, apparently it will like cheer when you get a goal. It's just like little random things that will entertain them on the flight. And I mean, I don't know how much that will entertain her, but I thought that would be something that she would quite like. And then similarly, she has got some pens. She has got a Rubik's Cube. She has got the pencils, which they have had previously. She's got this random thing, which I don't really know what it is, but I thought that they could share it. It's called a flow ring, and yeah, it just looks like something that she would quite enjoy, so um, we thought we would get her that. She has got her headphones, and then she has got some slime as well. Like, why do kids really love slime? And then in this bit, it's very, very similar to Lottie's. So she has got some sweets. She's got some of these like bag things to entertain them. She's got this, which again, we got off eBay. I think it was like 50p or something. And it's just knock knock jokes for kids. And I know that she will love that. She loves anything like jokes or silly things like that. So I think she's gonna enjoy that. Again, similar to Lottie, we got these little mini puzzle books off eBay, which are so good. Maddie's got a football one as well, and it's just all these different activities, and they will definitely keep her entertained on the plane. She's got the same one as Lottie here as well, the football colouring one. Then she has got one of these activity books again as well. They're just so brilliant, these. I can't even get over the fact that these are only £3, because they are really, really good. She has got a little notepad like Lottie, but hers is a football one. And I thought that they could do like a little scrapbook of our New York trip on there. And then the only other couple of things that Maddie has got that Lottie hasn't got, and I can't take credit for these ones. These were actually my mum that found these. Again, she's like the eBay master. She finds these like amazing things that I would not even have ever found. So Maddie is football mad, as I said, and she's found uh, her some like, educational like football like exercise books so I don't even know they don't I don't even know who they're by but they're just great also it's by Adrian Lobley um, but I don't know like I said where or how she finds these things but Maddie loves maths she loves football I like the fact that she's doing kind of educational stuff and so I thought that this would be brilliant like I really think it's really good so my mum did really well there and similarly she's got another similar one I want to say these were 99p but I'm not a hundred percent sure but yeah I mean just so good like some of them might be a little bit hard for her although it does say key stage one so we will see but yeah I just thought that they were absolutely brilliant and then finally the only other thing I got um, which I actually got before my mum got those for me is this which is a math and English key stage or seven to eight age thing from the works that was three pounds and again she just loves doing things like this so she will really enjoy doing this kind of stuff and it's really good because obviously it's educational as well and yeah that is it and that is what I have put in their plain bags the only other things that I put in as well, which I haven't mentioned previously, is that I put in their cuddly toys, but obviously I haven't put them in yet because they're still gonna be using them for the next couple of days. So I put in their favorite cuddly toys just so they've got them safe. And then I also, if it's a night flight or a long haul flight that is kind of into the night, I also put them in a pair of pajamas as well. But yeah, I really hope that you enjoyed this video. Like I said before, if you'd like to see like a traveling with tips traveling with tips traveling with kids video like tips video then let me know but otherwise i really hope that you enjoyed this video and it gives you some inspiration if you are heading off on your travels like i said the kind of main shops i can definitely recommend are ebay the works the supermarkets um, Smiggle is a little bit more expensive but like I said they do have deals and things and yeah I just I get it sounds really silly but I get like really like I just really enjoy organizing them like a little surprise and so it might be a bit silly to some people but I just really really enjoy doing it so yeah I really hope that you enjoyed this video I am going to be doing a what's in my travel bag for me video which I will probably put up next video so stay tuned if you like that sort of thing I guess and yeah thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time